back guys welcome to my packing series if you haven't already heard um, me say it in one of my other videos I just wanted to throw a disclaimer out there and let you know <clears throat> three things I am NOT a packing professional when it comes to babies this is my first baby this is the first time I'm taking him to Disney so um, this is just my first go at it um, I just gathered a bunch of information from my own experience going to Disney, from learning from other people, reading online, stuff like that. The second one is that I am out of breath. I just got off of work. Um, that's not the disclaimer. The second one is that I'm filming as much as I can while I can, when I can. Gavin is asleep right now. Um, he's also in the crawling and standing stage, so he is all over the place and I need to keep an eye on him. So I apologize if my videos seem choppy. Um, so yeah. And the third one is that I have, um, a cold and allergies simultaneously that doesn't seem to want to go away. So if I'm nasally and raspy in the throat and just annoying, um, sniffly, I do apologize. I know that that is really obnoxious, but hey, what can you do? Um... So I'm just gonna jump right in. This is a haul, by the way. This is a pre-Disney haul. Um, I bought um, a bunch of food, well, whatever, you know, just, I'm just gonna jump in, you know? Pre-Disney haul, I bought stuff. <laughs> Here we go. Little swimmers for when we go swimming and the water parks. And I'm guessing he's a size medium because he's somewhere in between 24 and 34 pounds. So, I bought a pack of those. I bought, although I have tons of wipies, I bought these small little ones because I don't want to be taking the big fat wipies that I have currently here at the house into the park or on the luggage. So I bought these first and then I recently, oh, that's in my other bag. I wonder if I should go get it because it does pertain to Gavin. I'm gonna go grab it. Two seconds. Okay, I hope I'm in view again. Um, first I bought these because these are the ones that fit in the slot for Gavin's wipes in his diaper bag. But then I didn't wanna buy a whole bunch more of these when I have like endless amounts of wipes in the closet right there. So I bought those. But then I bought this because it also fits in the little slot for his wipes. So. I bought this it was I don't even know how much like four dollars at Target and it can just refill however many wipes you need for the day so there's that and continuing I bought um, wet ones to put into his diaper bag because it's Disney it's dirty and he's a baby so yeah I bought three he's got one in there already but then I bought three more I can't imagine going through 20 40, 60, let's just say I have 10 in there, 70. I can't imagine going through 70 of them. If I run out, well then I'm using baby wipes, you know? Okay. I'm a little paranoid, let me make sure I'm still filming. Yep, still filming. <laughs> Moving on. I bought this new toy at Walmart. I think it was $1.99 if I'm not mistaken. But it's a noisy book, a small book. It only goes to the letter F of alphabet of crinkle paper. And it'll be new to him. And he likes this paper a lot. Even though he's not like newborn anymore, he still really likes this paper. So that's going to be the new backup toy for him. When his other toys don't work, I'm gonna, mommy's going to pull out the new toy. And he should be entertained <laughs> by that, hopefully. Um, I have some little flip-flops that are either going to be everyday or, well, they'll be everyday use, but I can't decide if I'm going to use these in the water parks, um, or the pool. I want to, and I still would like to keep searching for a pair of water shoes for babies, but they're not really easy to find for me at the moment. So if I can't find them, then I'll be using these. Anyway. They're just little Mickey Mouse sandals in the size 
I don't know what size, because I, I threw away the thing, but um, I think I bought 12 to 18 months, if I'm not mistaken, because that's the size he's in right now, at a nine month old, 12 to 18 months. And they were $8, but they were also on clearance, and I don't remember what I paid for them, but they were cheaper than $8, so that's always a win. I think that's it for non-clothes stuff. I bought him, which he's already worn, because they're so cute, um, pajamas in the size 18 to 12 months. And they are not footed, but they do unbutton all the way up to the crotch. And they're Mickey Mouse. So I'm going to take those. I bought them for Disney, but he's worn them since then, and I'll be taking them with me as well. Um, just yesterday, I bought him a new set of swim trunks from Walmart because it was cheap in a 12 month size for only $8.67, a pair of Mickey Mouse swim trunks for him and Gavin's up. He's not crying yet though. Anyway, bought a pair of swim trunks and a swim top I was looking for a short sleeve, but they didn't have, so I bought the long sleeve. But it's um, it'll go with it relatively, and it's in the size 12 month as well, because babies burn their little their little skin burns. So I got him a swim top as well, and a swim hat. It looks like a rain hat, but it's a swim hat. He's crying now. I got it in red because it'll match perfectly with his outfit, but it it velcros underneath the chin. And it's a one size fit all and it was $4.24. So there's that. I bought him from the Disney store a bunch of stuff. This is all from the Disney store, I think. Anyway, a little polo that he wore uh, Saturday for the first time. But it's a red polo with a Mickey Mouse on it. A blue polo onesie and that was on clearance I got him another polo Mickey one he's up I gotta go get him Rats. say hi baby say hi booger who is a dinosaur sitting there <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Anyway, say hi, Gavin. I'm just going to keep on keeping on. Um, let's see if I can do this. <sighs> we bought him a, I think these are pajamas, but whatever, it's still cute. It's a Pirates of the Caribbean shirt. Pretty standard. It was also on clearance, but it came with a set of shorts also so it's a, it's for older kids it's like a 2t or something but and um, I don't know if I'm gonna use it as an outfit to have the shorts go with them during the day because they look kind of funny to be honest with you but it came with a pair of shorts so that's super cute so uh, if I don't use it as an outfit uh, then I'll definitely use the shirt uh, um, uh, for that yeah this did not come from the Disney store, but it came from Target. Jacob's mom bought it for uh, Gavin, and it's a blue Mickey Mouse shirt and a pair of shorts to go with it. Yeah. Oh, I've already gotten my outfit ready. It has matching socks and a bib with... Good for you, Mom. Good for me. Pat on the back. I got an outfit ready for him. Um, another thing that she bought was this my first Mickey shirt but it's not his first Mickey shirt <laughs> but it's still cute and I believe this one came from oh I bought this for him I bought this for him from the Disney store on clearance and this is in the size 12 to 18 months I don't remember if I named all the sizes for all the other stuff but whatever most of it is some of them are two T's 
the red polo and the striped polo were 2T because they didn't have smaller sizes. But he also fits in a 2T because he's a chubby baby. Okay, sorry, continuing. This is from Target, Jumping Bean brand, and the 12th month. This was out for 4th of July, but it's a cute Stars and Stripes Mickey. So, you know, gotta get that too. Probably just pair it with some denim shorts or something. Now, this I also bought from the Disney store, which I think I'm gonna have him wear on his first day because it's super cute. Um, Gavin. Don't wiggle too much, baby. You make it hard. Is this original Mouseketeer onesie? Hold it up. There we go. Can you see it? And um, it was not on clearance. But that's okay, because you can't go wrong with this kind of stuff. It's, you know, super cute in the size 12 to 18 months. So there's that. And then Jacob ordered for Gavin a rain poncho slash raincoat thing. And it is the cutest thing ever. Don't put it back. No, no, no. And it's got a hood. And it's literally a poncho. So it just has two little like arm sleeves, but they have little buttons. And it's reversible. So if you don't want to use the rain side... You can use the other side and it's got stars on it. So it's cute and I'm not sure what size it is, but I tried it on him. It's a little snug going over the head, but it's okay. We ordered it online from either either Carter's or Oshkosh, I'm not sure. And it's in the size 18 months. So there's that. Now getting to the food. We just went to Target and bought food because my idea is that I'm going to feed him two... <clears throat> he doesn't drink a whole lot of bottles, but I still need to feed him bottles. Um, oh, Lord. Yeah, play with that. Um, but I still need to feed him bottles. So I'm going to feed him at least two uh, pouches of soft baby food a day. And then hopefully another like meal that he can share with me and Jacob um, for his third meal. And then bottles in between and snacks in between. So that's my like theory. That's my plan and that's my preparation. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I don't know. But I bought these pouch style baby foods because the jars are a pain in the ass. They're a pain. Um... And then these are easy because he already knows how to drink from them. Although he doesn't squeeze it really well, but he knows how to like eat his food from them. And if he doesn't want to do that, then I can just squeeze it on the spoon and then feed him. But he's big enough to like do this now. So I bought, I don't even know how many, but two, two per day in uh, a bunch of different flavors. So there's spinach, apple, apple carrot, Bunch of, bunch of different stuff. Now he here has sweet potato puffs. I have strawberry apple puffs. Ooh. And that's it for puffs. But I also bought yogurt bites because he really likes these. Strawberry. Orange cream. I need it all up and up brand because it's cheaper. And then more strawberry. So I'm also, I'm not going to take these like this. I'm going to put them in Ziploc bags so that they're more, um, they take up less room. So I'm going to do that for this and all of those and these because he likes these. They are Graduates Little Crunchies Garden Tomato. They're pretty much little, little Cheetos. My throat. Uh -uh. Um... Oh, and these little things, because he can feed himself now, like pick his food up and feed himself. We bought these because we saw them and they thought that would they would be cute to try, are the, um, he's drooling all over me, so great. Uh, these fruit pickups, so it's diced apples and grape juice, and um, so he can feed himself these. We only bought two of them, I think, I don't know why. I guess just because that's all they had, or maybe we thought they were cute. 
that one, and then carrots. I don't know. And that is it. And more, you know, squeezy food. So that's my idea behind the food. And I'm going to repackage all of these into little Ziploc bags so that they don't take up too much room because this is just awkward, right? And that's it. That's all that I have for my pre-Disney haul. Everything else I already had. And um, everything else I'm going to get ready to pack because I'm going to, the next video I'm going to film, Gavin permitting, the next video I'm going to film is what is in my suitcase. Gavin's suitcase. What's in my nine month old suitcase? Anyway, I apologize for being a scrambled mess. I apologize for sounding terrible because of my congestion and allergies. And I'm sorry for this little guy sitting on my lap while I'm trying to film my video. If you have any questions about anything that I purchased here, I will try and answer them to the best of my knowledge. And um, <clears throat> that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Tune in for my other videos. Bye. Say bye, Gavin. Say bye bye. Look over here. Say bye bye. <laughs>